I'm Lance Yelvington for Cyber Country. He's been described by people like Billy Bob Thornton as the perfect mix between Sun Records meets Grand Ole Opry. In this Cyber Country Minute, we'll find out what's coming up for Eric Heatherly, as well as the positive musical influence he's having on a certain member of his family. Well, since I had Flowers on the Wall in 2000, 2001, I've been traveling Europe. I released a record over there on Universal Germany, and uh, had six top tens over there, and toured, you know, Switzerland, Germany, France, Poland, did great. Uh, came back to the States, spent another three years doing my new record, which is called Too High to Cry and uh, getting ready to release that here very soon in the States. And uh, working on raising my little girl, Christiana, and uh, going on the West Coast a lot, uh, doing some film and television work, uh, some things for Grey's Anatomy, some things for Parks and Recreation, NBC, uh, just staying busy musically. There's something you showed today that you really sounded fantastic. Man. Thank you. What, what came from the kind of inspiration for this song? Um, well, what I've tried to do here in the last, especially the last five years, is try to create more quality other than quantity. It used to be about building my catalog, trying to write as many songs as I could write, um, you know, turning in songs for publishers or whatever. But now, I, I want to write a masterpiece. I want to be a guy that sticks around forever that has written a couple of standards. So I'm just really, really trying to hone in on on uh, writing things that are going to be around for a long time. Now, um, what's been the weirdest thing that's happened lately in your career? Anything odd? So you're talking about turning Europe and then, uh, yeah. coming back over here? Just... Oh man, uh, every every day is a is an adventure, you know, especially in music. I, I get to see so many different people, so many different places. I tour all over the world. Um, it's always... Uh, Adventurous. There's always really cool, cool people to meet, great places to see. Uh, I'm enjoying that. My little girl is now seven and a half, and I get to take her on a lot of um, expeditions and tours and shows. She gets to go on the bus. She gets to go play in the snow up in Michigan. And it's great. Bubbly's obviously done a good job in uh, training her vocal. But she did great today. Thank you. That, this is her second performance ever. You're not trying to push her into the business, are you? No. Nothing like that. And what I've been trying to do is teach her guitar. Oh. And a couple of weeks ago, she just put the guitar down and, and said, I don't want to play guitar anymore. I just want to be a singer. And I'm like, you're going to wish you could play guitar and accompany yourself in about 10 years. So I'm still trying to stay on her pretty heavy about playing guitar. True story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Christiana, what was it like to perform with your dad today? It was very good, and I really liked it because I've never done that before, and it felt really good. So, um, are you going to be making a career out of this? Hopefully. Hopefully? No, man, say it like you mean it. Are you going to make a career out of this? Yeah. How about guitar? No, not really. Yeah, if you guys want to check out the uh, videos, I've got three top ten videos up on myspace.com forward slash Eric Heatherly right now. Uh, the new record is up there. It's for sale. It's called uh, Too High to Cry. And I spent three years making it. It's produced by Carson Chamberlain. And I'm very excited about it. And we're going to see you guys out on the road in 2010.